please be my guest. Have some soup. Don't mind if I do. Okay. This soup is... <sighs> Blood. It's tomato. Actually, I'm not that hungry after all. Please, don't be shy. I made plenty for everyone. I... Had a big lunch. No, you're being silly. A nice hot soup will make you feel so much better. Actually, I'm trying to cut down on blood. Fine, if you want to waste a perfectly good soup. But I bet your good friend Joe would gobble up every last bit of it. Why is that? Is he a vampire? The worst kind. A parasite. You know Joe? Oh, I know him well. He's... Uh, a friend of a friend. He came by not long ago. Did you... give him your soup? He only tasted it. But he's already building up quite an appetite for it, I can tell. I've been warned about you. I met a young girl who said you were a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a monster to you? Not really, but looks can be deceiving. And why are you telling me this? I... I guess I felt sorry for the girl. I think you've done something really horrible to her. That, my dear, is none of your business. But between you and me, the bitch had it coming. Who are you? I mean, who are you really? Why? Am I not a lip surgery victim, after all? You said you have many names. I'm just curious which one is real. I've not used my real name for a long time. I don't need names. I am the queen of maggots. Adored and feared by all. And this is my kingdom of death. But... There was once another name, am I right? Yes, there was. But why would I tell you about it? You don't even belong here, just passing through. I have no quarrel with you, young lady. I'll eat the soup if you tell me. Lorelei. That's pretty. Thank you for telling me. But... I'm afraid I lied about the soup. So... I think I'll better go now. Goodbye, Lorelei. One more thing. Yeah? Would you kindly blow out one of the candles in the next room? What? Why? It's just a little tradition in my house. I ask all my guests to do that. Okay. I'll think about it.
Let's do this. Do you think, do you think I'm pretty? Just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Yeah. And that's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. And I feel... I don't know. You're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah, oh, of course you would say that now. I mean it. No, I know you. You're just saying that. Cause you're hoping to get late again, that's all. I'm saying it because I love you. I know. And I wish I could just not think about it, but I... Think about what? You will not understand. Try me. to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back. And I do it again. And again. You can talk to me about it. I... I can't. Really. It doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do. And I can see there's something... You're not telling me. You will. You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. I'm here for you, Ivy. Just say what it is. Okay. I've been making myself sick. What? And I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but it's so easy. <laughs> Just stick fingers down my throat so I can look in the mirror again and like what I see. But why? Because I'm a woman. I want to be beautiful again, Joe. You are beautiful. Please. Has someone said something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's everywhere, Joe. Those women on TV and in the magazines. Why can't I be like them? But you're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. Promise me you'll never do it again. That's why I've told you. So I could stop. I'll help you. You'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? No. I love you, Ivy. I could never be mad at you. Hey, we should get a cat. We should totally get a cat. I thought... You hated cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat. Why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. It will be black as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. 
and scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes, that's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it. So that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Joe? Yeah? This is not fucking happening. Help! Help! Let me out! Is there anyone there? There's no one out there, Joe. You might as well give up now. It's easier that way. Who are you? It's been so long. I've forgotten their names long ago. It all just doesn't matter when you're dead. All there is left is watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots that look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Because they're maggots. All they want is to... All that maggots want is... To eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> Funny fellas, them maggots. Am I... Death? No. Death comes slowly. It's a process, you see. All in the right time. You have to extinguish all hope that's left. So, start scratching. Keep fighting it. We all did. Shut up. Just shut up. But Joe, we're not even here. <laughs> You're just a voice in my head. Go to hell. I don't have to listen to your lies. And you're not even there. It's all in my mind. But Joe... If the voice inside your head is you... Who is the one listening to it? You know very well what it is, Joe. The only way out of here. The only escape. The question is... Are you man enough to do it? Do you have the balls? Will you do what you gotta do? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Only trying to help, bud. We're the good corpses. The only friends you've got. One pull of a trigger, and it's all over. It'll only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It's you! What were you even doing in there? I guess the X-Men put me in there. He probably did, bastard. How did you... how did you find me? I guess it was destiny. Where are we? Yeah, not a nice place. We should probably start looking for a way out. Yeah, follow me. And... thanks. Hey, Joe? Why am I here? I mean, what is my purpose in all this? The doctor said you were important, but he didn't really explain why. Important? I like the sound of that. Bear in mind that the doctor seemed crazy as a loon. Now, don't be jealous, Joe. Just because I'm more important than you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But can we please go now? I don't want to see another coffin for the rest of my life. This... can't be. We're back in Quiet Haven. Sure looks like it. Maybe this would be a good time to explain what's going on? Holy mother of... Let's start from the very beginning. Yay, story time! It's not really the kind of story you'd like to hear. I expected that much, but let's hear it anyway. We've been going through a rough patch with my wife, arguing pretty much every day. I don't know what's gotten into her, but I found this place online. Quiet Haven Hotel. So, I thought, why not go away for a weekend? Just me and Ivy. Maybe it wasn't too late to fix it. But instead, I think we actually broke up. You think? She was acting strange from the start. first she wouldn't even talk to me. And then when she finally did, we were pretty horrible to each other. Both said a lot of things we didn't mean. And the next day she was gone. Gone home? No. Taken away. Kidnapped. I know this sounds absolutely fucking crazy, but... It's something that lives in the mirrors. Have you seen it? Sort of. It's hidden away for now. Where? Inside the mirror. I'm not sure. It's really confusing. Well, how do we get there? This is the worst part. I have to kill four memories of this monster to open the mirror. What? They're... ghosts. Memories. Is anything here real anyway? This is all just a bad dream, and I'm not gonna think twice about it when it comes to saving it. But... you can't. Dream or not, I can't believe you would do such a thing. What choice do I have? I can't leave Ivy to die. But you can't just murder somebody. Unless... you already did. You weren't there. I'm starting to think I was wrong about you. Maybe you're not a good guy after all. They're not people. They're hideous, evil beings. And you really believe Ivy's inside the mirror? Yes. You'll change your mind when you see them. The first one practically begged me to kill her. Yeah. 
Still not a fan of this venture, I'm afraid. But I'll hold my judgment for now. Okay. Anything else I need to know about? Do we need to blow up an atomic bomb at some point? Are we opening an interdimensional portal for the man-eating beast to plunder the Earth? You've got someone else's brain. What? Whose brain? I don't know. Some guy. He didn't really need it. But I... I liked my brain. Sorry. It wasn't there. You can have it back if we ever find it. Well, that's comforting. What else do I need to know? The hotel manageress likes me a little too much. It's totally beyond me how any woman could like a guy like you. There's nothing wrong with me. Do you like her too? No, she's crazy. That explains it. Anything else? I think I accidentally killed a cat. Joe! How do you accidentally kill a cat? It was the axe man. Oh, never mind. Joe, be honest with me. Are you some sort of psycho? Look, the cat had a key, and I needed it. I didn't mean for it to die. I, I don't even know why I brought this up. No, I should know about these things. Any more skeletons in the closet? No, that's pretty much all. Except, didn't you have something for me? What? Just before we got attacked by the axe man, you said you had a message. A note or something? Ah, yes. Completely forgot about it. Here, take it. Okay. Lead the way, dude. Let's go save your wife. She'd better be worth it. This is. Yes. It's a house, Joe. Not just any house, you smartass. My wife and me. We used to dream that one day we'd get a place outside the city. We planned every detail. A two-story white house with red flowers at the front. She always liked red flowers. And I would drive a red Cadillac. My dad had one back in the States. Like that thing over there? by the shed? Yes. Exactly like this. God damn it. Why did we fuck it all up? Hey, what's that? This? That's... Um, it's weed. Weed? Like cannabis? Yep. There's a lot of it in there. Yep. Oh, and it stinks. Yep. Do you smoke this stuff, Joe? Yep. I'll take some with me, actually. Thank you. 
Give me a hand, Agnes. Hey, I know this one. It's, uh... It's Coldplay, right? I've heard it before. Keep playing. I've almost got it. You're pretty good, Joe. Nah. I haven't played in years. Anyway, that's enough. We don't want to spend all day fooling around. <laughs> 